So if we're talking about weed control, if we do end up with some prevent plant in 2020, are you going to do anything different as far as uh, weed control on prevent plant that you didn't do in 19? Any thoughts just there? Just hopefully have a different weather pattern because there was no, there was just no there was no option last year. You couldn't really, you know. Yeah, you either track your field up with a sprayer, and I mean, you, if you wait too long, the weeds get so big. I mean, your other option is aerial apply, but there's a lot of no no pilots are going to want to apply a lot of the chemistries that needs to be used. That was one of the things I ran into over by Brookings last year. Some of the co-ops just, you know, it was a conventional tiller or no-till. It doesn't matter. They just couldn't get across the fields to get things sprayed. So things got out of control and, and weeds got too big. That's what we ran into was didn't have the window, couldn't get in there. Just everything you'd think, okay, we're a day or two away and you'd get two inches and you just right back into that cycle and we couldn't break it. I mean, it just... We put duels on the tractor that we spray with and went out one day and, well, we finally got the tanks empty on it, but uh, it stuck about five times just getting it empty. It's like, and we thought it looked pretty good, it's, but the soil was just saturated. There was, it was pudding. What are your thoughts on some of the guys that didn't get cover crops planted, let weeds go, said that's, you know, Mother Nature's cover crop? What do you guys think on that? There's certain species of weeds that's, you know, not mycorrhizal friendly, so. Yeah. It, it'd be nice if it worked that way, but the weeds are never, never as good as a crop. Mm -hmm.